Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is all about squash and zucchini and mid-season care. We're almost to mid-July. I'm going to go over why there's white dust on there, talk about fertilizing, pruning, looking for insects, diseases. We're going to go over container planting so it'll be really comprehensive on how I take care of my squash and zucchini mid-season and why you would want to start seeds in cups right now. So let's just start with the basics. This guy is in a raised bed uh, and this is actually just shredded hardwood. There's no soil in here. It's doing extremely well. I will link a video to show you how I did that. But it's beautiful green leaves. First thing you're looking for is discoloration on the outside. You want to get inside there and remove any squash or zucchini that are in there before you start removing leaves, spraying, putting down dust, all that kind of stuff. And I was able to take three off of there. Those are the perfect size for zucchini parmesan. Pick them smaller if you want them for salads. So as you're in here looking around, picking, you're also turning your leaves over and you're looking for signs of disease. Right here, that might be, towards my forearm, some st uh, start of mildew. Not sure, but I see white markings on there. It's not from this powder that I put down. And you really have to go in and start turning all the leaves. If it's powdery mildew or something, you're going to start seeing the patterns on the backs of leaves in different places. And I would go all the way through, inspect the leaves. One of the things that I do with dust is I put it on the outside. Organic dust or chemical dust will kill all insects, so you have to use it wisely. And notice it's out here, it's down here, and that insect right there is a striped beetle. Usually, let's see if I can get closer. You find those on cucumbers, they call them cucumber beetles. Not 100% sure what it is, but it's a problematic insect. So the dust on the outside of the leaves kills the crawling beetles. You're not throwing the dust down in here where, well you can see a bunch of ants in there, where ants pollinators will go. So, and again, we'll talk more about that when we get to the pests and disease. But you really want to get in and inspect. And this plant looks pretty good. There's an active beetle right there. So that tells me, you know, I have a problem with, of course, beetles. So we'll take care of the spraying in a second. Let's go over to the other bed. Don't know why my voice just cracked. Let's go over to the other bed that's planted in the earth, and those plants are more beat up. So here's my earth bed of three different squash and zooks, one right in here. And, you know, this is large size. Again, I make squash or zucchini parm with that. Or I cut it up and I make a soup with rice, all vegetable based, and you can cut it with a knife or just give it a twist and break it away. Don't tug on it. You don't want to damage the stem. When you're getting to this size, they're perfect for salads, side dishes with your vegetables or with your main course. Now flipping this over, I think I saw one here. You can see right above my finger. Those are squash bug eggs, and you can see a little one there. So they're going to be hatching soon. See the fuzz growing. Let me get that right there. So the mildews, the fungi, the squash bugs are coming in. Time to treat these with sprays and all that. So all right, so let me set, oh, one more thing. Down at the base, if you get vine borers, that's where you want to put your insect dust. I found over the years that's the only thing that really reduces the damage and I've been able to grow you know squash and zucchini like you're seeing. You can tell you have vine borers if you get down there push on the stem it's going to be yellow it's going to be brown your fingers going to sink into it. The dust gets put all along here remove leaves so that it doesn't get over here where the pollinators are and this will capture anything crawling down the stem. That's what vine borers usually do. The eggs are laid on the upper stem. They crawl into here, work their way down, and you just want the dust to get on those worms before they bore into your squash or zucchini plant. And we'll go over that a little bit more formally. But this plant looks pretty good. It looks healthy, but we'll get to fertilizing. I want to set up the tripod and show you how I start removing leaves. Oh, here. Definitely right by my pinky mildew and problems coming in. So all those leaves have to get removed 
and we're going to start spraying. So there's so much going on with these plants, I'm not quite ready yet to grab the tripod. A second ago I said when you're putting down the insect dust along the stem, I said you remove the leaves. You actually remove the flowers. Any flowers that are going to be where the dust is that you're putting down, remove the flowers and the pollinating, pollinating insects won't go there. So some of the things that you can notice is on top of this leaf, let's see if it will show up here, you can see slight yellow spots right at the top there. And when you get that yellowing, let's see, I'll move it down here, right there like at the tip of my finger, when you start seeing that type of yellowing, as soon as you turn the leaf over, you're going to see white spots underneath. And that's a fungus or mold. Oh look, more squash bug eggs. So really inspect the plant. The other thing is that sometimes you see a zucchini plant that will get a yellowing tip. That means it wasn't pollinated. That has to be removed. Some other ones in there look pretty good. So I'm going to go in and remove all the leaves. So this first leaf that has the mildew on it, I'm going to follow all the way down with my scissors right to the stem and I'm going to cut. And that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to get in here, find all the problematic leaves and I'm just going to lay them over here. They're not going to go into the compost because they have uh, bug eggs on them or they have disease on them, they're going to go into a trash bag and throw them away. That's one thing I recommend. Don't compost any leaves that have diseases on them or have insects on them. There is, let's see if that, yep, yeah, another beetle that just flew away, came over to here. So there's lots of problems in here. So right now I'm going to get in, I'm going to remove all the leaves that I showed you. And don't worry about taking lots of leaves. Here's an example. So it's going to be hard to tell, but the whole top right here of this plant was damaged when wind came and just snapped the top off. And it just sent out on its own a new stem out here. It has flowers coming, more leaves. So don't worry if we're going to strip out a lot of the diseased leaves and problematic leaves. Damaged zucchini plants will send out basically another stalk, another stem, and it will just start growing that way. And these are all nice and healthy. So I'm going to get in here and just remove everything, take out the weeds, and then we'll go to the next step. So you can see right here, this is all yellow and soft, mashed in there. That is probably a vine borer. It's still alive. And it was right in here, and it basically chewed off this whole stem of the zucchini. There's another one over here been checking around there for softness and believe it or not if you find these guys you can scrape them out put some dust down there and then mound up over it and the zucchini or squash plant will probably be okay and start producing but that's the dreaded vine boy right in there and sadly in closer inspection they all got right in under here chewed this one off too so this plant I'm going to just pull out and part of the reason why I, why I start other plants in cups, and we'll do that at the end of this video, in another week, a plant will be sprouting out of here. In about 35 days, it will be ready. It'll be producing, perhaps when the rest of these plants are dying back. So you can keep rolling in squash and zucchini plants into your garden when you have problems because they start producing after germination in about 40 days. So as I'm in here, I'm moving this around, and I saw several squash bugs. Let's see if I can find them. They're moving around. Well here's some more squash bug eggs right on top of the leaf. And let's see if I reach under here. I can spook any out. I haven't found them yet but here are hatching squash bugs right in there. If I touch those they're going to start moving. Look at that. Let's move it around a second so you can see it in focus. So, smashing them all down. So, lots of problems in my squash and zucchini. Now, you'll have to trust me. I know they're in there. Well, I'll find them, but there's squash bugs in here. I'll show you what they look like when I find one up close. So, 
that's a squash bug. There's a lot of them in here because I have found eggs, here's more, all over the place. So I am really cutting this back, taking away anything with diseases, with anything with eggs on it, and then we'll get to taking care of this with sprays. So I know it's looking drastic. I took a lot of leaves off of that plant. We removed this one, and I'm taking a lot of leaves off of here because of mildew. And believe it or not, these are pretty strong. A stem should not break if you gently roll the plant over. And you do that because you can look on the undersides and you can see where the powdery mildew is. It's also easier for spraying. So this guy has to come off, follow it down, and cut it out. And look, wow, look at all that. Same thing then, I'll have to follow that down to here. Cut it out, and break it off. That's why you don't break it with your hand. And snip it off. All right, so this guy's ready for spraying and I've really cleaned out the space. So let's get to spraying with the peppermint oil and the antifungal. All right, so it does kind of stink that I had to remove all those leaves, leaves back there. This is what's left after checking for eggs, powdery mildew, fungus. So now it's time to spray. So we're not feeding yet. That's gonna be at the end. This is my antifungal. Just start soaking down everything. Undersides into the point that everything is saturated and dripping. And actually I'm gonna do this whole thing so you can see what it looks like in real time. I've also started squash and zucchini in containers because I know that this is what happens to them. Okay, so we're gonna gently pick up a bunch of stems, never just pick up one stem or they're gonna break off. And now we're gonna roll it back this way. Continue spraying, get maximum coverage. And because I know that the powdery mildew is on there, instead of spraying every 10 to 14 days as prevention, let's see if we can stop this guy. All right, it's a little bit harder because it wants to flop over. So instead of doing every 10 to 14 days as prevention, I'm gonna spray about every seven days to stop the powdery mildew if it rains hard, I'll spray again that day. So this is pretty much how you wanna cover an infected plant. I'll do that one. Now, at the same time, we were would let this dry. So let's assume I sprayed this one, a little bit out of order over here. But now, that the, let's just say antifungal is dried, here is the peppermint oil. And now I'm spraying the undersides too. Real quick though, I don't wanna wash off the antifungal. I just wanna get that peppermint scent on there and hopefully it deters other insects from finding it. Once this is all dry, we'll get to putting the dust down. We're gonna feed this space and then we're gonna go over to the container zucchinis. So I lost one zucchini plant to the vine borer. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven plants going, so losing one isn't so bad. These guys look pretty good. I actually said we would dust next. That's wrong because we're going to dust the stem. You don't want to put the dust down. We're going to use Captain Jack's dead, bu dead bug dust. But right now, I want to feed them. You're not going to feed the leaves. Just soak in around the plant just like that. I mounded that up, put some dirt around the bottom of the stem, and I'm going to give this about a half a gallon. This is an organic fertilizer with a 12 nitrogen. When you take all these leaves off, you want to give them a lot of nitrogen. Really soak it in there. The root systems go everywhere, so you're going to drop some around the plant too. No need to get the leaves. And we'll get this one in there. 
and then we're going to walk up to the other plants and just give them a nice drink and I'll probably do this again in seven days here's an example of what I was talking about this is another variety of a uh, squash plant and I would just dig the hole drop this in 35 days this will be producing after I do that I'm going to drop two more seeds in we'll remove the weakest plant after they germinate and they're growing for about five to seven days and that's a scalloped white squash right there a patty pan type all right so that's the backup because you are going to lose plants there's no point in fighting a plant that's going to die because disease or insects have taken it all right so let's leave those we got a nice harvest and that was probably the third round and there's some still on the plant so I am not disappointed although it's always sad to lose a plant this is everything I took off of those two plants the dead plant and from the zucchini over here thin that one back a lot and it's looking good and then we'll spin around let's get over to the containers and then finish up with the dust so here in the containers one thing that you might be looking at are very small plants and when they're that small you see a squash is formed they're nutrient starved so they would get a nice big fat gallons worth of the water soluble fertilizer organic high nitrogen and that will help them jump start and get going I'll remove those yellow leaves on the bottom but once you see the powdery mildew on a couple of your squash plants you want to treat them all with sprays and let me just show you over here too I've got another one going here so don't be afraid to stagger your squash and zucchini this way if you have problems you still have more that will produce when the other ones die out okay to the dust so you might have noticed I didn't tell you what spray I was using it was actually serenade it doesn't matter it's more important I've been saying this this year and I will stress it really for the rest of the time I'm doing YouTube videos it doesn't matter what spray you're using what fertilizer you're using what dust you're using stick to a routine and just make sure you follow it every 7 to 14 days every 10 days whatever your routine is you don't want to miss it coming back you'll see when you inspect your leaves you probably can't get every part so white dots on here I will look at those see if they're growing see if this spray works but you want to keep an eye on things check the leaves every day really you know why you're getting this under control all right so you want to wait till this thoroughly dries but we're going to do it now because I just want to finish up the video everything is removed along here great place for squash bugs vine borers to go just dust it just like that if it rains replace it we're going to come find a couple of leaves away from flowers remember those beetles that were running around they will run through that they will run through that typically you always want this to be dry and when you put these dusts down put them down late in the evening when the pollinators go away in the morning you should really come back spray and wash the leaves off real quick and then reapply to the stem the stem you don't want to keep washing off you want to keep active dust on there all right I think we've covered it all that was a lot it took me most of the day to really take care of the garden and take care of those things but when it comes to mid-season squash zucchini you really want to do all of this you'll keep your plants going you'll have replacement plants and you'll be able to really harvest your zooks and your squash all the way until the frost comes sometimes you need to put in new plants one last tip when these plants start showing signs of insects and diseases your cucumbers are going to be getting them your watermelons your cantaloupe butternut squash your winter squashes so you want to start treating them all pretty much at the same time hope you enjoyed the video please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and thanks so much for watching